The seas and coasts around Wales support a host of fabulous wildlife. They also provide a range of wider benefits to people in Wales. For example, dune systems and salt marshes can protect us from coastal erosion, storms and flooding. Stunning sandy beaches and resources like the Wales Coastal Path provide opportunities to improve our health and well-being. Many people in Wales rely on our coasts and seas for work, supplying us with renewable energy and healthy food. However, the marine environment around Wales is under pressure from things such as climate change and pollution. How can we work together to make sure our coasts and seas are healthy, resilient and continue to provide what we need? In NRW, we have worked with our partners to develop the Marine Area Statement. Together, we have identified the top priorities for improving the way we manage our marine and coastal natural resources. We need to recognise and plan for rising sea levels and their impacts at the coast using nature-based solutions where we can. We need to build the resilience of our marine ecosystems by tackling issues such as water quality. We need to use the new marine plan to manage the way we use our marine and coastal resources. The Mumble Sea Hive project is trialling a way to make space for nature. Led by Swansea University, the project fixes tiles that mimic natural rock surfaces to the sea wall. The more natural surface encourages life such as seaweeds and barnacles to settle, forming natural habitats on man-made structures, supporting biodiversity. This simple solution could be useful for future coastal protection structures. Seagrass is a fantastic habitat for lots of different species. It absorbs carbon dioxide, produces oxygen, cycles nutrients and filters pollutants. Seagrass beds have been impacted by things like disease and poor water quality, but collaborative projects are underway in Pembrokeshire and Portinshine to restore this vital habitat and boost the resilience of our seas. Welsh Government are working with NRW, Marine Industries and other partners to gather evidence on the location of things like sand that can be extracted for building, suitable tidal currents for generating renewable energy and habitats and species that may be sensitive to some human activities. This information can be used to help us get the right developments in the right place in the sea. The way we do this work aims to better connect people to our coasts and seas through engaging at a more local level to understand what we all value, and in turn, supporting people's well-being. If you would like to find out more information about any of the projects mentioned here, or the Marine Area Statement, please have a look at our webpage and sign up to our newsletter. <laughs>